Social media is a very powerful tool. But we're here because every parent I know, and I think every parent in America, is terrified about the garbage that is directed at our kids. I have two teenagers at home. And the phones they have are portals to predators, to viciousness, to bullying, to self-harm. And each of your companies could do a lot more to prevent it. Mr. Zuckerberg, in June of 2023, the Wall Street Journal reported that Instagram's recommendation systems were actively connecting pedophiles to accounts that were advertising the sale of child sexual abuse material. In many cases, those accounts appeared to be run by underage children themselves, often using code words and emojis to advertise illicit material. In other cases, the accounts included indicia that the victim was being sex trafficked. Now, I know that Instagram has a team that works to prevent the abuse and exploitation of children online. But what was particularly concerning about the Wall Street Journal expose was the degree to which Instagram's own algorithm was promoting the discoverability of victims for pedophiles seeking child abuse material. In other words, this material wasn't just living on the dark corners of Instagram. Instagram was helping pedophiles find it by promoting graphic hashtags including hashtag ped whore and hashtag preteen sex to potential buyers. Instagram also displayed the following warning screen to individuals who were searching for child abuse material. The, these results may contain images of child sexual abuse. And then you gave users two choices get resources, or see results anyway. Mr. Zuckerberg, what the hell were you thinking? All right, Senator. Um, the, the, the basic science behind that is that when people are searching for something that is problematic, it's often helpful to, rather than just blocking it, to help direct them towards something that, um, that could be helpful for getting them to get help. In what, I also, understand get resources. In what sane universe is there a link for C results anyway? Well, because we might be wrong. We, we try to trigger this, this uh, warning, or we tried to, um, when we think that there's any chance that the results Okay, you might, might be, be wrong. Let me ask you, how many times was this warning screen displayed? I don't know, but the... But the hey, you don't know. Why don't you know? I, I don't know the answer to that off the top of my head. But well, the, You know what, Mr. Zuckerberg? It's interesting you say you don't know it off the top of your head because I asked it in June of 2023 in an overlight, oversight letter and your company refused to answer. Will you commit right now to within five days answering this question for this committee? We'll follow up on that. Is that a yes? Not a will follow up. I know how lawyers write statements saying we're not going to answer. Will you tell us how many times this warning screen was displayed? Yes or no? Senator, I'll personally look into it. I'm not sure if we have. Okay, so you're that. refusing to answer that. Let me ask you this. How many times did an Instagram user who got this warning that you're seeing images of child sexual abuse, how many times did that user click on see results anyway? I want to see that. Senator, I'm not sure if we stored that, but I'll personally look into this and we'll follow up after. And what follow-up did Instagram do when you have a potential pedophile clicking on, I'd like to see child porn? What did you do next when that happened? Senator, I think that an important piece of context here is that any context that we think is child sexual Mr. Zuckerberg, abuse, that's called a question. What did you do next when someone clicked... You may be getting child sexual abuse images, and they click see results anyway. What was your next step? You said you might be wrong. Did anyone examine? Was it, in fact, child sexual abuse material? Did anyone report that user? Did anyone go and try to protect that child? What did you do next? Senator, we take down anything that we think is sexual abuse material on the service, and we do Did, did anyone verify to whether it was, in fact, child sexual abuse material? 
Senator, I don't know if, if every single search result we're following up on, but... In, did did but you report board, to people who wanted it? Senator, do you want me to answer your question? Yeah, I want you to answer the question I'm asking. Did you report time to speak the people them? who click see results anyway? Uh, that's probably one of the factors that we use in reporting. And in general, I mean, we've reported more people and done more reports like this to NCMEC, the National Center of Missing and Exploited Children, than any other company in the industry. We proactively go out of our way across our services to do this and have made, I think it's more than 26 million reports, which is more than the whole rest of the industry combined. So Mr. Zuckerberg, the, the, the Mr. Zuckerberg, that, that we, your that we company and seriously. every social media company needs to do much more to protect children. All right, Mr. Chu, in the next couple of minutes I have, I want to turn to you. You're familiar with China's 2017 national intelligence law, which states, quote, all organizations and citizens shall support, assist, and cooperate with national intelligence efforts in accordance with the law and shall protect national intelligence work secrets they are aware of. Yes, I'm familiar with this. TikTok is owned by ByteDance. Is ByteDance subject to the law? For the Chinese businesses that ByteDance owns, yes, it will be subject to this, but TikTok is not available in mainland China. And, Senator, as we talked about in your office, we built Project Texas to put this out of reach. So, so ByteDance is subject to the law. Now, under this law, which says, shall protect national intelligence work secrets they are aware of, it compels people subject to the law to lie, to protect those secrets. Is that correct? I cannot comment on that. Um, what I said again is that we have because moved you out have of to reach protect to those secrets. No, Senator, we, TikTok is not available in mainland China. We have moved the data into but, an American but cloud TikTok infrastructure. TikTok is and controlled by ByteDance, which is subject to this law. Now, you said earlier, you said, and I wrote this down, we have not been asked for any data by the Chinese government, and we have never provided it. I'm going to tell you, and I told this when you and I met last week in my office, I do not believe you. And I'll tell you, the American people don't either. If you look at what is on TikTok in China, you are promoting to kids science and math videos, educational videos, and you limit the amount of time kids can be on TikTok. In the United States, you are promoting to kids self-harm videos and anti-Israel propaganda. Why is there such a dramatic difference? Senator, that but, is just not accurate. Uh, there is there, a there's lot not of, a difference between what kids see in China and what kids see here? Senator, TikTok is not available in China. It's a separate experience there. Uh, what, what I'm but, saying but is... But you, you have a, a company that is essentially the same, except it promotes beneficial materials instead of harmful materials. That is not true. We have a lot of science and math content here on TikTok. There's so much of uh, it uh, that created let, a stem feed for okay, let, 100 let me, let me billion point, let me point, views. Let me point to this, Mr. Chu. There, there was a report recently uh, that, that compared hashtags on Instagram to hashtags on TikTok, TikTok and what trended. And the differences were striking. So for something like hashtag Taylor Swift or hashtag Trump, Researchers found roughly two Instagram posts for every one on TikTok. That's not a dramatic difference. That difference jumps, jumps to eight to one for the hashtag Uyghur. And it jumps to 30 to one for the hashtag Tibet. And it jumps to 57 to one to the hashtag Tiananmen Square. And it jumps to 174 to one for the hashtag Hong Kong protest. Why is it that on Instagram, people can put up a, a hashtag Hong Kong protest 174 times compared to TikTok? What censorship is TikTok doing at the re request of the Chinese government? None. Senator, that analysis, that that analysis is flawed. The analysis is flawed. It's been debunked by other external sources like the Cato Institute. Fundamentally, a few things happen here. Not all videos carry hashtags. That's the first thing. The second thing is that you cannot selectively choose a few words within a certain Why time Why the period. difference between Taylor Swift and Tiananmen Square? What happened in Tiananmen Square? Senator, there was a massive protest uh, during, in, in, during that time. But what I'm trying to say is our users can freely come and post Why this content. Why would there be no difference on Taylor Swift or a minimal difference and a massive difference on Tiananmen Square or Hong Kong? Senator, could you wrap up, please? S Senator, our algorithm does not suppress any content simply based on To this. answer it that doesn't. question, why yeah. is there a difference? 
like I said, I think this analysis is flawed. You're selectively choosing some words over some periods. We haven't been around this there long as other apps. There is an obvious difference. 174 to 1 for Hong Kong compared to Taylor Swift is dramatic.